Greetings YouTube. Recently I spoke about Chick-fil-A's Dan Cathy and his uh, public statement that he is an unabashed bigot and supports anti-gay policies in America. And someone asked me specifically what the money that the corporation he uh, works for, is in charge of, uh, does. How do they adversely affect the gay community and undermine civil liberties in America and the world at large? Well, in Uganda, there was an attempt, I believe a successful attempt, to pass a law that would make homosexuality a death penalty crime. If you were found guilty of being a homosexual, you could be put to death. The United States put forth a bill that would officially condemn this policy in Uganda. Though, I have to tell you, I have a really difficult time understanding why you need a bill, a law, to officially oppose murder of people simply for being who they are. I think you can just stand up like I do, or in my case, sit at a chair like I do, and look into a camera and say, that's wrong. It's immoral. Don't kill people because they're gay. But the United States needs an official bill, official law. Well, Dan Cathy funded the uh, Family Research Council, and they donated $25,000 to oppose the US law, to stop the United States government from officially condemning the murder of gay people in Uganda. That's unethical. That's morally reprehensible. That is disgusting. And Dan Cathy's corporation, Chick-fil-A, has given millions of dollars to anti-gay policies in America, and apparently to affect the world at large. I don't oppose Dan Cathy speaking publicly. I like when people like Dan Cathy speak publicly. It helps me identify the bigots. But when his actions start harming people, stripping them of civil liberties and the ability to enjoy the same rights that the straight community does, and an attempt to block a policy that would say murder is bad, well then, he crosses the line. And he says, matters. What he does matters. What he says shows the world his intent. What he does shows his actions. And his actions are horrible. And frankly, he is a horrible human being. I hope that someday he learns the error of his ways, that he sees the light, that he reaches into himself, and he finds that connection to what he says is his core belief, to love his God and to love his neighbor.